just going to set up in our normal setup that we've been working on. And we're going to go from a setup position, and we're going to identify all those things that are good in our setup position. And then we're going to follow it up by going to a finished position, which we're going to identify as the good finished position. Now the goal is to go from, one, from point A to point B as best as we can. Now what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn and walk towards my target. The way I'm going to do that is simply by turning and walking. I'm going to do this a couple of times where I turn and walk towards my target, keeping my left foot on the ground. Some people have a habit of turning their foot and walking. We want to avoid doing that. If you have a propensity for turning your foot, you probably already need to have that turned out before you even start. You can start off right away with that foot turn. The next step after I turn and walk towards my target is to put the club over my shoulder. Now notice how effortlessly I did that. I didn't do any sort of contortion this way to put the club on, on my shoulder. I didn't put it over this way or put it back up this way or put it over my head. I just simply put the club right on my shoulder. Now when I turn and walk towards my target, I'm going to combine those two steps so that I am turning and walking and putting the club on my shoulder. The more I do this together in sequence, the better off my forward swing will be. Now that I've learned how to turn and walk and put the club on my shoulder at the same time, I'm going to start doing some things that are going to slightly change the way that I finish. So instead of taking a full step towards my target, I'm going to learn how to drag my toe instead. So I'm going to drag the toe of my back foot. My intention is still to turn and walk just like it was before. The next step is to remove the drag so that we simply just lift our heel off the ground. Now we can start adding some backswing to it. We're going to start off with small little increments and move our way back. So first I'm going to start with a small backswing and go to the finish. Small backswing, go to the finish. Once again, I'm linking point A to point B. Then I take a slightly bigger backswing, still connecting point A to point B. Occasionally, I'll mix it up and throw in an actual step towards my target so that I go. You can see I'm learning how to move with the club as well as move my weight forward towards my target. So I'm learning two skills at the same time. Now I'll try to get as full a backswing as I normally do. Walking right through the swing, really keeping this foot on the ground and just turning and walking. You'll get a sense that the momentum of the club swinging actually helps you turn and walk towards the target. Now I can even include a golf ball. Once again, take my swing, still walk right through the target. Then I'll try to remember to drag my toe. And now I won't drag my toe, I'll just lift my heel off the ground. This is the 
best way that I've found to teach myself how to get the balance to move forward to the front foot as well as to connect the club to my body motion.